Hello, my little Endoraptors. Eni here, back with um a new video. I uh, I got Jurassic World Evolution too, thanks to my fiance here. Hello. He, um, he also has the game as well. He also has the game as well. Um, and we're gonna be playing like we're gonna be going through the campaign mode together and such. You guys are obviously only going to be seeing my screen and such, but this is also for me to be able to kind of teach him how to play the game. I played the first game, so I kind of already has have some experience going into this game. So it's basically, the, it's similar from what I've been told, it's similar to the first game, just new uh, aspects and mechanics and such. But because I've played the first game, I'll be able to pick up on this pretty quickly. So let's begin. Okay, so there's three segments of the campaign. Uh, there's the DFW campaign. Lead the efforts of the DFW, Department of Fish and Wildlife, to control, conserve, and contain wild dinosaurs now rampaging across the U.S., if this is your first time playing, we recommend start he starting here. Okay. I guess we'll uh, jump into that. Yep. Jurassic World. This, this is where our story begins. The scientific Malcolm. breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences. So nature did what it does and unleashed This time, we were deeper into the illusion of control, and the chaos brought something much worse. And for a moment, we remembered how precious life is. But time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. And ambition, ambition is a persistent a thing. <coughs> I have to wait for this to... For the dinosaurs left behind, time was becoming immaterial. You can hear through your mic. Yeah. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. Perhaps it's time we reflect on the true uh, nature it? of nature. An endless cycle with one goal, survival. I feel sorry for that surfer. <laughs> this means that dinosaurs and humanity <laughs> had to get bodied. Find a way to work the surfer gets the completely swallowed by the Mosasaur. Okay. Arizona! My home! <laughs> We're starting in Arizona! I find that hilarious! See if we can find your house. <laughs> to us, a desert. Skip. Is a wasteland devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. Oh, galleys and oh, once hello. I think that was an owl. In these lands, hundreds of millions of years ago. The stegos. Given the geological so history that we're dealing with. Dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge. Well, ah uh, yes, I never thought I'd be charge. seeing a baryonyx so in Arizona. We're left with a problem or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's going to be different. I'm willing to embrace the uncertainty. Mm, well, we'll see. All right. First off, I need to go into my settings real fast and go into audio. Okay. Okay, I guess an introduction is in order. Oh, I'm this guy Kevin again. Finch. Assistant Director of the How? U.S. Department of Fish okay. and Wildlife. I know it sounds important, because it is, 
But let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm yeah, sure you're I'm the reasoning this all happened. Well. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He works with velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay, so we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a rate. I have to check my settings because I need to double check the um, camera. Okay, so I've got the rotation down, but how do I make it, like, rotate up and down? I'm checking real fast, because I don't actually I, know either. So I want it to be, like, hold right-click to do that, but... Team doesn't exist and a capture team helicopter that is awful I don't like that uh yeah okay so construct response facility okay you do not Response. We are making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Next step, building a backup generator, then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility, and also make sure the building is connected to the PATH network. It only does us good if it's operational. Well, at least the build is not too... Um... Hey, Claire. We may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground, and even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then, the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can trank it from the air. See? I like the way I think. Hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Do we actually know where the creature is? Uh, yes, it does show. This is something I'm used to. I am not.
Got him. <laughs> Claire, this is Owen. I copy you. We have it. Capture successful. I knew you'd do it. Never had a doubt. Really? Well, maybe <coughs> one or two. Well, it's that was easy. Usual. I'll take it. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Wait, uh, you don't have to answer that. Asset has been delivered. Oh, I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. We couldn't save that Baryonyx, but we can certainly help this one. There's not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume, so we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. All right, so I need to give her... On this end. Copy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a ranger team vehicle. Owen will help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. Do we really need that? A plan? I mean, I've always been more of a just bake it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what. If this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Mm, that sort of sounds like a plan. While we can't replicate what we had on the island, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool? Oh boy! Are you seriously asking? Or just pretend? Really to want to be able to put okay, the camera we up or down. To rain to their pens instead. Better? Baryonyxes tend to F is the key bind for transport. Okay. C is the capture mode, so for photos. their territories. Okay. 
need to go and look at a triceratops. It is possible to get a more directly above view. I just... I'd love to know what the keybind is. I don't know either. Triceratops. Hello.
just move out of the way so I can build. It's like, no. My god. I think I got them happy. Okay. They're all at 95% comfort. Aha! There we go. With so many of the Stopped animals running operational free, our priority has to expedition. be capturing as many of them as possible. But where's... We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. Get one built, and we'll take it from there. Ah, oh, yeah, ranger post. Here. And then... Wish I knew all the keybinds. Building's pretty fast. I just like having insta-build with my um, mods, but... I think for this, I'll do entirely vanilla. No mods. Yeah. I'm willing to bet the Triceratops want some rocks, but I'm not too sure. Uh, fibrous, um, foliage. Which would be, uh, so you go to greenery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. It's the second one in forest, leaf, and fiber, but don't cover the whole area. Leave some open space. Yeah, I'm going to put it on, like... Oh god. Okay, so I have to yeah, actual actual build times. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that either. <laughs> you see why I play with mods normally? Claire? Yeah, I mm. sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Let's not miss it. We should assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? Owen, you there? I think you're still muted. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, good idea. Uh, what have we got to lose? You know, except the, maybe a new... I would... I just don't think I understand. <laughs> What is the difference in skills? I... Like, what does Logistics 5 out of 10 mean versus 2 out of 9? 
I, for uh, cost-wise, went with the cheapest one. Um, I don't actually know that either. That's new, um, because in the first game, we didn't have that. Before the remote capture teams return, we should have enclosures ready for the dinosaurs. Think of it as welcoming them back home. Okay, so I gotta build another enclosure. Mission live capture. Or Stegosaurus. Yep. Nice. Oh, you're already there too? Okay, so now I need to... Here they come! I got stegos! I got stegos! I Wait hate working with stegos! To get over to check. Because, oh my god, if I can remember, recall, it can be a bit of a pain.
Baryonyx gets the really big enclosure. I gave Stegos a small enclosure. Yeah, that's what I'm doing with the new ones. Um, I'll probably eventually, like, go through and, like, you know, fix up this. They want ground fruit, water, and fiber. Okay. Who's watching who? I'm not following you. Ground fruit. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us, so shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Once we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll need viewing galleries. What I'm saying. Only, you said it. Okay, there we go. Missing open space. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll build you a bigger enclosure. God. You're so needy. Missing ground fiber. Oh my god. I'll give you some ground fiber. Can you please stop complaining? You see why I hate working with um with them? Oh my god, they're so bad. Yeah, even in the original, like the first game. Even in the first game. Oh my god, don't get me started. Okay, finally! Holy cow! Ah, uh, shit. Oh, they're very happy. Oh, they're at 100% comfort. They're very happy. Wait till he gets to the next part. Oh boy. Wow. 
Weather warning received. Owen. Owen. We have a real problem. I'm trying, Clara, but it's just... Well, this is who I am. Not you. Ah, dinosaurs. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, how about this? There's a massive sandstorm headed our way, and it could wipe out the facility. Without power, the safety of the dinosaurs could be at serious risk. Okay, listen to me, Claire. We'll figure this out. Have I ever let you down before? Actually, no. And I'm planning on keeping it that way. Everything we can do, we will do. We've survived worse. What's a little sad? This is, uh, just like the other, uh, the first game. You have storms and such. But yeah, here's a taste of Arizona. We get a lot of these, uh, depending on where you're located. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty concerned about our current situation. Ben's broken. Since I'd obviously love to help out. I'm a little oh, tied shit. up. So, who's gonna protect the dinosaurs? And our personnel. Yes, of course. I mean, that goes without saying. I'm saying it anyway. It's just, it would be a tragedy to lose these animals again. And by tragedy, I mean huge financial loss. And obviously an embarrassment to those in charge of the DFW. People such as you? Uh, well, actually, exactly me. So, how do we avoid that? Okay, step one. Round up the stragglers and get all the dinosaurs back into their enclosure. Then, we'll work on our safety rig. This good? Yes. This is a plan I can support now and take credit for later. <laughs> yeah, this guy, uh, Finch? Yeah, he's in the first one. Alright, it's all done. Stegos, how you doing? 98%? Good. Mission complete. All right, so that was just a whole tutorial. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. I kind of figured the Baryonyx was going to get out. It, it, it From what I've experienced with Baryonyxes from the first game, they're kind of notorious for getting out. Uh, it's, if you okay. have the weak fencing. If you have stronger fencing, they're less likely to, but... We're all good. I just have to get my Baryonyx back into his enclosure. Get the ranger team to fix it. I'm waiting at um, the intro cutscene to the next mission for you. I just got my baryonyx back into its enclosure. Now I just gotta wait like 30 seconds. Why do they give real world timers to this stuff though? I don't know. City Skylines would be a lot worse if you had to actually wait for, like, a police department to build. Oof. You imagine? Oh my god. And that is why 
Mission. Mission complete. Let's go. Arizona was secure. The dinosaurs were safe. Finch and the DFW had what they needed to keep the bureaucrats off our backs. For now. But the future, I guess. that was something completely different. Well, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Washington is next. I hope you guys enjoy. Like, subscribe, comment, all that. I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.